Hello there, I'm John Crow from Pokemon Mystery Engine for Vesca Team. In the last part, we took on, well, we prepared for the Sky Tower, and we're gonna take on the Sky Tower right now. We have a full bag of items. I have like six Reviver Seeds, like five huge apples, a lot of orange berries, three max elixirs. My bag is completely taken up and has no more space even before we get to the dungeon. But yeah, here we are. Ah, uh, good to see you come. Qua. Oh, shocked or scared. What? What's going on? What is that you doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gem. Teleport gem. Qua. He's making the teleport gem. How awesome. How awesome is that? It is made. Ooh, that looks like an expensive gem. No, I'm just kidding. That looks like a... Well, big, uh, shiny gem, I should say. It's very shiny. This is the teleport gem. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now, Steven, accept. Steven, Steven received the teleport gem. Happy music, awesome. That was made using psychic, the, using the powers of psychics. By me, Alkazam, and, oh, a ghost type Pokemon who received help, we received help from it. I don't know. I always wonder: is that is it? Was it really actually Gengar who helped with Gem? Because I thought Gengar hated our guts, but I don't know. I was never really sure if it was actually Gengar. It's just a ghost type Pokemon, and the only ghost type Pokemon we normally see is Gengar. I don't know. Gone away, it seems. Yeah. Who could it be? Yeah, I'm wondering if it is actually Gengar. I'm, I never figured that out. Ha! Ah, it must be uh, bashful. Let it be. Okay, just trying to change up to Alkazam. Now, I must ask you one last time. This journey, we, we will be fought, fought, will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? Yeah, of course we will. We have to get Rayquaza to destroy the falling star, right? If, if that will bring peace, I'm glad we give my life for it. Oh, that's so nice of you, Cody. That's my wish. Yes, and when that wish comes true, Guard Voice said, a f okay, here's a flashback of what Guard Voice said. You can return to your human world. Yep. This will be Moss Adventure with Cody. Steven, let's get this done. Nod, nod. <laughs> We're counting on you, Cody, Steven. Okay, well, I guess all there is to is to teleport this guy. See you guys when we get back. Bye. We just get teleported. Nice. Some great. This is some great music. Ow, ow, ow. Where are we? Cody's all shocked. Wow, Steven, this is cool. We're on clouds. And you're not falling through them, Cody. Cool. Oh, wow. Steven, look up there. Wow, that's a big tower of clouds. Kind of looks like a tornado or something. The, it's a huge tower of clouds. It's... It's at the top of this tower. That's where Rayquaza is. Steven, let's do our best on the climb. Okay, so the Sky Tower itself is only 25 floors. Well, it's the longest dungeon, I think. Only 25 floors. Um, or just tied with Magma Cavern, I can't remember. Um, and then there's a summit of the Sky Tower summit, which is 9 floors. And on the 9th floor is Laquaza. As we as stated before, Laquaza is at the top of the Sky Tower. So, I'm gonna go to Cody Moves. Um, you can use Brick Break, Sod, and Ember. You can use all his moves, I don't care. And then for me, my moves, I'll use... I don't have Bite anymore, actually. I realized that. That would have been helpful on the shop bit. But that's okay. I'll just use Water Gun then. And as just another look at my bag. I have a full bag, as you see right here. Just with full of items I'll need to get through the dungeon. Or may not need. I'm pretty sure I will use all my items that I need. That are in my bag. Like, th that that'll help with the dungeon, so, yeah. Okay, there's a Pokemon in the distance, which is Bubble. 
as a fortress. If you have a fire type Pokemon and it's like Ember or something, then it's four times weak to fortress because fortress is bug and steel type. So yeah. Okay. I'll keep in mind. Okay, so like ghost Pokemon like that can go through the walls and stuff. And you want to avoid them because if you try to attack them while they're in the in the middle of a wall, then um, then you don't then um, it won't they won't deal any damage. Oh, curse! Are you kidding me? Get out of here, Shepard! Gosh dang it! This is bad. Wait, did my curse just get lifted over exactly? Ah, oh, Shepard! Oh my gosh! This is a tough dungeon. A real tough dungeon. Okay, now Cody's level 28. Yep, leveled up. Okay, cool. Yep, that's cool. I just want to find the staircase. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> you know, and I'm just... Oh, this connects. I know that. Let's go to the far right then. See if that's where the staircase is. Keep in mind there's monster houses here. So avoid like little rooms that have wide items. Because that's where monster houses are, basically. Um, I'll just take the steps. But other than that, uh, music time, I guess, possibly for the last time, for, at least for the main story. I might do some a lot of after game stuff, I'm not sure if I want to do that though. So anyway, nonetheless, music time. Okay, th I didn't run into Monster House at all um, in the um, Magma Cavern, but right when I spawned on this floor, I ran into Monster House. And it's near the steps, too. So if I can just get to the steps. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so you want to set your partner to um, stay put, but I'm not even in one of the little wine things where. It oh my gosh. You're gonna have to fight a way out. I, I mean, I'm in a really bad situation. Um, yeah. I don't want to fight my way out because I'm afraid I'm going to get knocked out. I had it five times, so I could think the fourth one 
fifth one missed. Oh my gosh, this is bad. I'm so surrounded by all these. Okay, if I can have a chance to attack, that'd be nice. Oh my gosh, Sing put me to sleep. Ah oh man, this is bad. Cody's gonna get knocked out of it. I, there's nothing I could do. They spawned a monster house right when I, you know, um, got on this floor. This is bad. I'm still asleep. Are you kidding me? Just lay off of Cody. Hey, focus on me. Oh, of course, flamethrower missed. Jeez. Okay, Cody. Yeah. I hate these monster houses. They're not fun. I'm, I was due for one, but come on. No, don't put me to sleep again. Okay, good. Okay, that was just a different psychic attack, not sing, whatever it was. The Deltaire had sing. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna use Ice Beam. See, I'm, see, it sucks when you just have to fight your way out. There's really nothing you can do. I'm going to use Ice Beam on Altaria, but okay, I'll take it. Okay, now Cody is asleep. Gotta knock on one of these Altarias at least. There we go. Gosh, dang it. Set move can't be used. Okay, of course it can't. Set Ice Beam to that. There we go. Now one more Altaria. I missed, of course I missed. Got a ton of experience, but still. Uh, let's see, how many Reviver Seeds do we have now? We have five, right? I'll just eat the Plain Seed. One, two, three, four, five. We have five Reviver Seeds. Okay. That's okay, we can still proceed. I was so due for a Monster House anyway. And the Monster House music still extends even though you beat everything. You have your Pokemon. What froze it? Nice. I can't even attack it though. Oh, I'm di a Tig, yeah. I'm down the Dig. I don't want to use an Elixir until like all my PP is drained. So yeah, I'm really stubborn on that. You can't, you can't attack when it's frozen solid, are you kidding me? Well, that does make sense. That's how it's been through the whole game. If you can, in this game, you can't attack them. It has a little effect, it like has no effect. There. Thank you, Cody. Here's the stairs, nice. Anyway, back to the music.
Okay, after 25 floors or so, we finally reach a safe point. Um, yeah, I don't have any more, um, I don't have any more orange berries, but I still have five survivor seeds, so that's good. Uh, yeah, um, I've still two max elixirs, so that's good. Oh, my three that I had to begin with for this, um, video at least. Um, still have some huge apples and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll run into any more orange berries really unless I'm lucky. I don't think orange berries spawn as a dungeon item in this dungeon, but I could be wrong. Other than that, um, when you're ready, you can take on the Sky Tower Summit, which is 9th floor, as I said. Ninth, the 9th floor has Rayquaza on it. Rayquaza. I you want to say Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Um, you can save right here if you want. And yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon of the Studio Walk the Guide part. And next part, we'll take on the Sky Tower Summit. The Sky Tower Summit. And hopefully, um, talk to Rayquaza to get the Fallen Star destroyed somehow. So, this has been Janko again. I would like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The Rescue Team Walkthrough Guide.